music makes the connection. It has the power to bring souls together, to raise the spirits, to heal. This has been known to humanity since remote prehistoric times. The oldest surviving art, found on rocks and caves, depicts people dancing to music. It was created supposedly at least 30,000 years ago by the first people of the earth, the so-called Sun Bushmen. Their direct descendants still live on the flat and dry edge of the Kalahari Desert in southern Africa. And apparently, these people bear the oldest DNA among modern humans. Over dozens of thousands of years, preferring isolation in the desert, they have maintained a rich culture as old as mankind itself. The rest of the world developed quite a different set of values with evolution through agriculture that bypassed these hunter-gatherer people. One night, I had a dream about them. We were dancing together around the fire. And before long, life actually took me to the Kalahari. perhaps the humanity's earliest kind of prayer, the original form of spiritual expression. Still today, the sacred dance is the most anticipated event in the Bushman's routine, a culminating peak of the community's biorhythm. The dance brings about altered states of consciousness, considered to be the most effective means for healing sickness, both physical and emotional for expressing an ecstatic love and for transforming the experience and relationships with one another. The concept of movement and change is central to the world of the Bushman. Everything in life changes and shifts form. From the climate of the ecosystem to the climate of our personal emotions. For people who understand the shape-shifting quality of the natural world, Spirit and dancing becomes the most important thing. It is an enactment, a body metaphor, of the force that keeps changing everything. Dancing helps the human being shake the ego off and release the soul into free flight. Dance is good dancing. When I met the first people for the first time, I told them about my dream. The elder of the village answered, You dreamed of us because we dreamed of you. The dream is in fact real. That's why you are here, and we shall dance. I asked permission of the Bushman elders to record the sound of the trance dances I would participate in, and they agreed. To the north from the Kalahari, along the equator, lies the Congo Basin, the watershed of the Great Congo River, home to some of the largest undisturbed stands of tropical rainforest on the planet, a land of extraordinary biodiversity. The original human inhabitants of these forests, the Pygmies, have been living here since millennia. Their DNA is likely the second oldest after the Sun Bushman. Living in complete unity with the forest and revering it as God, they have preserved the timeless ancient culture. To this day, the Pygmies have a fame in the world for their medicine and music. Since I was a kid, I have been a fan of Pygmy music. I always wished to meet them, and eventually, I found myself in Gabon, a small country on the coastal west end of the Congo Basin. It has been said that Gabon is to Africa what Tibet is to Asia, the spiritual center of religious initiations. The Babongo Pygmy people of Gabon hold a vast knowledge of the forest plants used for curing diseases, purifying the body and mind, for keeping contact with the ancestors, and for spiritual revelation. 
music and dance are an essential, vital element of their daily life, inseparable from their medicinal ways. I came to Gabon specifically to partake of the medicine of the pygmies and to learn the music. There, I was fed a root of the sacred tree that put me in a deep trance for six days. I became initiated into the spiritual tradition of the forest and addicted to its music. The Mogongo is the principal musical instrument of the pygmies. They say it is the humanity's first musical instrument after the voice. The oldest surviving images of musical instruments are found on rock paintings in the trois Frères cave in France. They are at least 20,000 years old. A shape-shifting figure, half human, half animal, is shown dancing while playing the mouth bowl. In different forms, the mouth bowl is found in various cultures across continents. And some of its recent derivatives are quite common today. However, the Morongo of the Pygmies of Gabon stands apart with its unique sound and musical capabilities. The Pygmies believe the Morongo to have great spiritual power and ability to dispel dark energies, to bring about visionary states, to initiate healing. During my stay in Gabon, I made recordings of master Morongo players and began to learn to play it myself. of the pygmies are the foundation of intersoul, a journey into the common roots of humanity, into the original soul. Reconnecting cultures, generations and hearts into one spirit, reminding of our unity and inspiring our ascension into pure love together. 